Baby, is we about to blow up? I like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Dominique. I am an emergency room nurse. And if you are a returning Golden Bay, then welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and coming to hang out with me. So as you guys can see from the title down below today, I'm going to be sharing what's in my bag as an emergency room nurse. I absolutely love these videos, so I thought I'd go ahead and do one of my own. So let's just go ahead and get into today's video. No need for a long intro. Let's go ahead and see what what's inside of my bag. So here is the bag that I carry to work. As you guys can see, it is a purse and not a book bag. I did learn that I am more of a purse type of girl and not a book bag. I don't know, I just feel like purses are a lot more girlier. They're a lot cuter and I like this one because it was affordable. And if you guys can tell, or I don't know if you guys are familiar with the company base, this is a great dupe for their um like crocodile tote bag that bag is like a hundred dollars and i think i paid maybe um thirty dollars for this purse so super cute as you guys can see it is a black like crocodile type of um texture i love this bag it holds a lot so let's go ahead and dig inside so this is an overview it does have a zipper which i really really like because i don't like for my bag just to be open i do like to zip it up for a little bit of privacy um but as you guys can see on the outside i do just have my stats hanging on the little strap so i do have the litman i think this is the litman 2 this is actually the one that my best friends bought me when we all found out that i was accepted into nursing school i do have two sets of stats i have this one and another pair that i bought myself and of course they're both pink but like I said, I think this is the Litman 2 and I bought myself the Litman 3. Now, they did get my name engraved, which I highly recommend. Some way, somehow, getting your stethoscope personalized because you'll see in the hospital a lot of stets just sitting around and that way you know which one is yours because like everywhere you do have some people that have sticky fingers so it is very helpful if you have something on your stets that can help you identify that that is your stethoscope and it's not a coincidence that when yours went missing homegirl over there got a new one okay so make sure you have something on your stets that can you know say this is yours some way somehow like i said my best friends did get mines engraved and it says dominique so this is the one that i just so happen to be carrying so like i said that just hangs on the outside of my bag i don't have to you know dig inside my bag just to find it so as you open the bag here is an overview like I said, you guys, you can fit a lot into this bag, which I really, really, really like. So we're just going to be pulling things out, okay? So the first thing that I have in here is an umbrella. Of course, you never know when it's going to rain. And I really like this one because it's super tiny. It can fit inside your purse. And when I get off in the morning, I don't have to run to my car in the rain. I can take my time and walk because I actually have an umbrella with me. And again, with it being so small, it can stay in my bag so i highly recommend that you get a small umbrella that you can keep inside of your purse and then of course always have one in your car that one can be a little bit bigger the next item that i have inside of my bag is my planner i don't even need to go into details with this if you are not new to my channel then you guys know how much i absolutely love my planner i love planners i wish i could be a planner because i just love them so much so i do carry my planner with me because this is my brain outside of my body i cannot remember everything so i like to write my work schedule down in here and then just personal things that i need to do like i need to drop my dress that i wore to my granddad's wedding off at the dry cleaners i can't remember all those little things because i have other things going on so highly recommend um keeping your planner in your purse and mainly again it's so you can write down your work schedule that way if something comes up you don't have to be like oh wait do i work that day or did i pick up wednesday night i don't think i did it's in your planner so keep your planner inside of your bag Ugh, i just i love this thing so much 
I love it so much. Next up in my bag, I do have like this little notes book. So I don't know if you guys can see it's kind of reflecting off of the ring light, but it is just this little notes book and it says notes right here. And I like to keep this with me when I'm on the floor and I'm working because I like to take notes. As you guys can see, I write little things down. I highlight, I do all that type of stuff. So highly recommend keeping a notebook because again, you cannot remember every single thing and I really love to write down things that are new to me that I've never heard of maybe it's a medication maybe it's like a procedure or something like that I like to write it down that way when I get a few moments to myself I can you know google it look it up you know look in some type of textbook or something like that so highly recommend that you keep a cute little notebook in your bag going along with my planner you guys know I gotta have stickers Again, if you are not new to my channel, then this is just, this is my life. This is my life. I like to plan with my planner with colors and I like to put stickers because I like to make it look cute because it only makes me want to go inside of my planner more. I love to put little airplane stickers when I'm about to go on vacation. I love to put like the little stethoscope sticker when I have a doctor's appointment. I just, I love it. Again, it just, these type of things make me happy and you have to do things in life that make you happy stickers make me happy so that's that next up in my bag i have my little pocket clipboard now i did have another one that was very similar to this but i do wear figs to work figs is like a famous um scrub brand i do wear figs to work specifically the joggers and if you guys ever try to fit the clipboard that just folds in one half in you'll see that it doesn't fit so i found a clipboard that folds into three same size it still holds a normal piece of paper which i think is like 8.5 by 11. it still holds a normal piece of paper um it just folds in three so i really really like it let me show you guys and again it fits inside of my scrub side pocket that was the main thing my clipboard did not fit i actually forgot to write my name right here in sharpie that's something that i have to do i do have it written on my other one but like i said i do take this one to work because it folds up into three you just fold this side down first that has the little clip part and then the bottom side and similar to the other clipboard that folds in half it does have these little cheat sheets right here on the back so as you guys can see it has a pupils chart it also has the ekg pqrst it has um grading of cardiac murmurs all that good stuff so highly recommend this especially if you wear figs joggers it slips right on the side so so glad I found this this is something that I didn't know they made and I was just like you know what let me see if they have like a skinnier clipboard because I love my clipboard I love that I can take it everywhere with me and fold it up so people you know patients that walk by aren't reading all of you know everything on all of my patients so it folds up it has privacy but most of all it fits inside my pocket that way I can get up and go so 10 out of 10 recommend this next up I have my little pencil pouch in here I just have have pins highlighters I have a um, dry erase that way I can update my patients board so they know which number to call so they can contact me I have my trauma shears in here of course they're pink if you guys couldn't tell already my favorite color is pink so I have my trauma shears in here I also have my pin lights all of that good stuff I also have like these little pamphlets in here things that my job have like handed out um, just for you know a quick reference back so I do again work in the emergency room I also work at a trauma center and then we're also a comprehensive stroke center so we get all of the strokes within I don't even know how many mileages but EMS brings us everything that they think is a stroke we get because we are a comprehensive stroke center so this is a little cheat sheet card so you can know how much um, TPA to pull up for your stroke patient so what you just do is you slide it out I don't know if you guys can see like the numbers right here but based on the patient's weight it will tell you how much to discard how much to bolus and then how much to actually run as a drip so I just have this in my pencil case because you never know when a stroke is gonna roll in and my pencil case is something that I actually take out of my bag and I walk around with so this is always with me for reference um, because again you never know know when a stroke is going to roll in and that way I can just pull my little card out and you know for a fact it's right you don't have to sit here and calculate because it's already done for you every weight is already on here you do have a front and a back 
And again, it just tells you how much to pull up, discard, how much you're going to bolus, and then how much you are going to um, run on a drip. I also have another little cheat sheet in here. I actually have a picture of this on my phone. This is just um, different type of splints that you will do. So of course, if someone comes in with a broken wrist or something like that, you may have to splint it. So I just have a little cheat sheet here on different splints that the doctor may ask you to do. I also have some um, post-it notes because I like to write little notes. You guys know how I am. <laughs> um, and then like I said, I just have pins um sharpies i have highlighters i also have pencils in here sometimes i do like to write with pencils and then i have my little pin light in here because like i said we always have stroke patients so i always need to check people's are they reactive are they slow are they round are they brisk that is how i check so that is my little pencil pouch. So if you guys can tell, my bag is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So let's just go ahead and go into this little side pocket right here. So in this pocket, I just have my AirPods. Again, if you could not tell what my favorite color was, it is pink. I keep my AirPods um, on me because late at night at about um, 3 or 4 a.m., sometimes 2 the ER will calm down and by then I may have like four patients that are just waiting for a room because they are admitted and I can just pop an AirPod in if all my patients are you know stable and just do some charting. There's nothing like charting to R&B music okay. If you have not already try and chart to some music you will see how fast you get through those charts okay. I love to chart with some music only if I have time and only if the ER is calm and all of my patients are stable you always want to be on a swivel keep your head on a swivel only put one airpod in but i like to you know just sit in the corner when we finally turn the lights out at the nurse's station and just chill and chart so always keep my airpods on me and then of course when i go on lunch break i put both in and maybe watch a netflix show or watch a um youtube video so keep your airpods on you at all times next up in that little pocket i just have my badge and i get a lot of questions on where i get my little pink rn badge from and the answer is amazon you guys i will have everything listed that i have in this video from my bag to like my pins and my you know everything that's in like my little pencil case i'll have everything listed down below in case you are interested but i get a lot a lot a lot of questions about where do i get my pink badge from and it's amazon so originally when i started working of course they gave me the green rn badge but i was like you know what pink is cuter and of course i asked my manager if it was okay if i changed the color and she said yes as long as it just says rn and it's identical to everyone else's in the hospital it just has to be vertical so i went ahead and changed my badge color to pink and she actually really liked it she thought it was really cute now they do have other options like glitter and things like that but i didn't want to get that i just wanted a you know plain and simple pink pretty much everything on me is pink at work so i was like my badge has to match and then i have have like the little cute brain for my clip and this is actually from my brand if you guys um, don't know I do have my own brand this is from my brand the little brain little clip super cute so that's what I have on my badge and then just flipping through my badge so I have my actual badge on the front I have the RN that's next that way you can know who I am when I walk into your room next up I have this little titration cheat sheet this is something that my preceptor there actually gave me off of his badge and I thank him so much because again I work in the ER so I have really 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 sick patients that may be on 18 different drips and of course I cannot remember what the range is for norepinephrine or you know cardizem so I have a little cheat sheet here on my badge so it just says each drug and then it tells you what the range it can be ran on so absolutely love this and again I love him so much for giving this to me because he literally gave it to me off of his own badge and it just has a front and a back next up on my badge i just have my code cheat sheet of course in the hospital we call all different type of codes sometimes we call it a code blue which you guys are very familiar with which is a cardiac or respiratory arrest 
or we may call it a cold gray which is where we need assistance with a patient that may be upset or a family member that may be upset and we need security to come de-escalate the situation um cold red fire smoke i did hear cold red one time since being in my hospital i was a nurse extern upstairs and something in the hospital did catch on fire and they had to call it cold red and i kind of knew what it was like i had a sneaky suspicion of what it was but y'all know me i was like i ain't never heard this before so i had to go look at my little cold thing and of course cold red is not something that they always call so when i heard it i was like did they just call what i think they just called baby is we about to blow up like <laughs> somebody let me know something like let me make sure i know what this means so i just had this little um cold cheat sheet on my badge as well now my last little badge buddy is a blood draw of order now this was my best friend when i started working in the emergency room like i mentioned in several other videos nursing school will teach you how to pass NCLEX but it does not teach you how to be a nurse nursing school cannot teach you everything so this is something that i had to refer back to every single day every single time that i had to draw blood on a patient because i could not remember the order of blood draw so when it comes time to draw blood on a patient you do have to draw in a certain order some things have to be put on ice like lactic acid and just all this other stuff you guys and like i said in my previous video which is my five top tips of being a new grad nurse be gentle with yourself because you're not going to know everything as a new grad nurse and if you can get badge buddies grab them because this was again this was my bible when i used to walk into a patient's room and had to draw blood so again this just tells me which order um i have to draw blood in this is something that i actually no longer look at because i'm learning again you guys it takes time to learn this is something now that just comes second nature i too also learn which color meant what now i know blue top means like pt ptt all of our coagulation studies I did not know that when I first came into the ER, so you guys have to be gentle with yourself. Everything takes time. Remember that. But if you can get a badge buddy, ask your nurse manager for a badge buddy because they make badge buddies for everything. Everything. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So definitely ask for a badge buddy. And last but not least, I just have this little badge buddy that lets me know which numbers to call for which floor. So this was also another Bible to me when I first started. Of course, I didn't know the number to call for CT. I didn't know which number to call for x-ray. Definitely didn't know which number to call for pharmacy and so on. So this was something that I definitely referred back to. And again, badge buddies are your best friend, believe it or not. Now, I I don't reference to this as much as I used to because again it takes time now I know which number to call for lab now I know which number to call for respiratory but when I first started of course I didn't know these things it's little things like that that you have to be patient with yourself and you may have to ask the person next to you hey what's the number for respiratory because that used to be me because I did not know the number I couldn't find the number and then I finally got a badge buddy that had every single spores number on it and I absolutely love it I still reference to it for like the floor floors so like if I need to call TICU or if I need to call med surge or neuro step down things like that I know which number Number to dial. Next up in my bag, I do have a fan, and you guys may be like, girl, what do you need a fan for? But when you work in the emergency room or anywhere for that matter, but especially the emergency room, it gets hot. And I really, really love this because it clips on to your computer, whether you're using like a stationary computer or you're using a wow, which is one of the computers that's on wheels and you can roll around with it. It clips on the computer and you can adjust it up or down like that that way you constantly have cool air blowing on you and then you just take your cord and plug it up into the computer so i really really love this it does have three settings of course low medium and then high but this has come into handy so much because when you're running around in the emergency room when it's super busy which it feels like that's the emergency all the time you need some cool air and i remember one time i think our ac something happened with our ac and it was off for like an hour maybe two hours and we were in there dying i was dying slowly because i had this like this was getting me through it but absolutely love this it's very cute of course it's pink 
Um, and you can just hang it on your little computer, snap it onto the computer, or just let it sit on the desk. That way you have some cool air blowing on you when you're zipping and running, trying to get medications, trying to get this, that, and the third for your patients. And last but not least, I have this super huge like cosmetic bag, but it holds so much. And I actually have no cosmetics in it. That's the funny part. Now, I do get a lot of questions about if I wear makeup or anything like that to work, and the answer is no. I've never been a makeup to work type of girl. I don't put on powder. I don't put on eyebrows. I don't do anything. Like, I literally go to work with my eyelashes, and that is it. You guys know I do get individual. So, everything that is in here is like first aid or something like that, or feminine products, but. I do not wear any makeup to work so that's why I don't have like a makeup bag and I know a lot of girls are shocked by that but I don't know because I like to just especially now with masks I just like to be comfortable if I'm gonna be here for 12 and a half to sometimes 13 hours because sometimes I don't get out of work on time if I'm gonna be here that long I don't want no powder on my face. I don't want no lip gloss on my lips. Nothing. Nothing. So I just have like um, girly things in here. So let's just go ahead and go through my little cosmetic pouch. Now just a quick overview. It does have three sides. So on this very first side, I just have this little lint brush. Because of course, sometimes you may have a little lint on your scrubs. I also like to keep feminine pads in here because you never know when mother nature is going to hit you or your co-workers. I do like to pack extra. You guys know me. I love to pack extra for my co-workers because you never know your co-worker next to you may forgot to refill her cosmetic bag and she may be out of pads or tampon. So I do like to just pack extra um, in case someone needs something. I also have a pack of flushable wipes because I don't only like toilet paper. I really Really, really like wet wipes and just make sure they're flushable so we're not you know polluting the earth going along with the sanitary pads I also keep tampons in here again for my co-workers you never know I also have some wet ones because I like to wipe some things down some surfaces that I may think is a little nasty like when I'm about to sit down for lunch I may go ahead and wipe down the um, lunch table or I just may use some purple wipes it just depends next up I have some aquaphor this is amazing for your hands because you guys know as healthcare workers we're constantly washing our hands and drying our hands out and in our soap dispensers at my job we use chlorhexidine for our hands which is by far the most drying soap you can ever use but of course it's so you can make sure you have no bacteria left over so highly recommend having some type of hand lotion if you do not get aquaphor I highly recommend that you get um like gold bond gold bond has a really good hand cream because it's not nice and thick and it's very moisturizing and I also have eczema on my hands you guys may not be able to see it but I do suffer from eczema and it's on my hands which is by far the worst place to have it as a healthcare worker because my hands are already dry so I have to keep my hands moisturized especially at work you guys it's horrible sorry you guys my camera died so let's just continue on so we got our aquaphor I also have a mini deodorant in here. This is just a Dove deodorant. Love this because it smells super good. And who does not like to smell good at work when everything else stinks? So I like to smell good. I also have a Tide stick in here because your girl is messy. I eat like a three-year-old, so my Tide stick. And then I also have some more like hand lotion in here. Like I said, you guys, I suffer from um, eczema on my hands, so I have to keep my hands moisturized. So that's everything that's in this back pocket right here. Moving on to my middle pocket. My middle pocket is like my medication pocket. I only have two types of medications in here. I also suffer from allergies, so I have some Benadryl. Sometimes the person that's giving all the meds need some meds so i do have um some benadryl in here and then i also keep some ibuprofen because you never know when a headache may sneak up on you or when you have some menstrual cramps ladies you know how that goes i cannot get through work if i'm having cramps it's not happening and i can't have a heating pad on me although i know they do make those like to go heating pads where you just like crush it up and then you can put it like on your stomach i need to try those out self note and last but not least in this little side pocket that's like my hair 
side so everything that has to do with hair so the first thing that i have of course is a comb because sometimes i wear my hair out it just depends i also like to keep an extra clip in my bag because like i said sometimes i do wear my hair down but as soon as i get tired of it being down girl is going up okay so i do keep an extra clip and then I have like these little smaller pouches inside of this big bag just so I can keep some more things organized. So in here I just have hair ties. I love silk hair ties because things like scrunchies and stuff tend to break my hair off. I also have this little cute mirror just in case, you know, I can't get inside of the bathroom or something. I'll have a quick little mirror to look into another hair tie in here i don't know why i have so many hair ties and that's why i can never find hair ties in my bathroom because they're all in here and then i just have some bobby pins and then i also have like a nail clipper in here because you guys know sometimes you may get like a hang nail and those drive me insane and there is absolutely no way i am going to be able to get through 12 and a half hours without messing with it so i have to keep um some nail clippers on me because once I get a hang nail girl it got I gotta clip it off or I'm just I'm gonna keep messing with it last but not least I have another pouch in here and in this pouch I have like some eye care stuff so in here I have an extra pair of glasses because I do typically wear contacts to work honestly it just depends on how I'm feeling at night if I don't feel like wearing contacts and I'll have on glasses and if I don't feel like um you know wearing a pair of glasses then I'll just have in contacts so these are the extra pair that I keep inside of my purse as you guys can see it is anti-blue light which is really good because I do sit on the computer a lot to chart and I just keep it inside of this little like dust bag I also keep an extra pair of contacts and some contact solution in my bag because you never know like I said let's say my contacts rip or they just feel super dry then I can just you know wet them or something like that with my contact um, solution and then I have my glasses just in case I just want to take the contacts out altogether. And my last three things inside of my little kit is some hand sanitizer, which is typically like on the side of my bag. I don't know why it's inside of that little pouch. I also keep some lip balm, you know, just to keep my lips moisturized. This is the EOS egg. I absolutely love these. And then I also keep an eyelash brush because sometimes my eyelashes be getting on my nerves, okay? I have that one eyelash that's always on the end that I always wanna like twist down and we not having that. So I keep um, an eyelash brush in my bag. And that's everything that is inside of my little cosmetic purse. And this is from Target, but again, I'll have everything listed down below if you guys are interested. So here is another quick overview of my purse. Like I said, love, love, love this it's super cute i realized that i am not really a book bag girl so i really like this because it's cute and it also zips up also you can wipe it down if you really really have to i like to wipe the bottom of it down because of course it sits down on the table and things like that and then like i said it has the zipper so you can have a little bit of privacy um unlike some purses that don't have zippers on the top and last but not least it's very roomy as you guys can see it also has a little laptop slot which sometimes i do bring my ipad or something to work because i may get some downtime and i may have some time to plan some videos as you guys know i am back on youtube so i can use my downtime and just plan some videos or do editing for like 30 minutes it just depends on how the night is going in the er but like i said i'll have everything listed down below for you guys in case you are interested i must say i am pretty much always prepared for work i always have all of my feminine products my pens my pencils and i very rarely have to ask for things i bring my own expo marker and things like that so so it's always good to be prepared for work and it's always good to have a great bag that you can either wipe down or throw in the washing machine when needed so you guys that is going to go ahead and wrap up today's video again make sure you go ahead and check my description box down below because i'll have everything listed with direct links in case you want to purchase something and if you too are a new grad nurse feel free to comment down below and let us know which bag you take to work and what you like to carry in your bag give me some ideas and also let me know some other videos that you guys are interested in i may also do like a little locker tour for you guys so you can see what i keep in my locker and things like that similar to my fan i have other things that would just keep me comfortable so definitely comment down below give this video a big thumbs up 
also feel free to share and until next time i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in the next one I'm going back, I'm going back